Hey guys, so today I'm here with an overview of Google Chrome OS. So there's been a lot of talk and hype and buzz and all that kind of good stuff about the latest operating system that's available, of course, being Chrome OS. And since I've been fortunate enough to have a CR48, which is a development version, uh, it's similar to what you will actually be able to buy here come next month when Chrome OS is available, but it's, it's a little different. I'll, I'll get into exactly uh, what all that means. But basically, I've been fortunate enough to be able to use Chrome OS for this past several months. And what I'd like to do for you guys today is give you a little explanation, kind of explain some of the things what Chrome OS is good at, bad at, all that kind of good stuff. So let's go ahead and boot the computer up. And the first thing you'll notice is that it is really fast in starting. So uh, this, like I said, this is not quite as fast as what you will buy when you get a Chromebook yourself, but typically boot times are under eight seconds. So once you load up Google Chrome OS, you'll find that it is very similar to normal Chrome on your whatever computer that you currently use. So you have your tabs up top. Now you do have a couple of additional options. So you have a clock, you have it shows your Wi-Fi and your battery. It also shows you where you, know, you can switch between your windows. So there's a button, I don't actually have any windows up here, but if, you, if I did, I could switch between different windows. Just like if you opened up a program, uh, for example, if you had like two Google Chrome windows open on your Windows computer, and you, know, you can scroll between them. Well, it's very, um, very much the same on Chrome OS. Uh, now as far as how it works, like I said, guys, very, very similarly to how Chrome works. You have Flash, HTML5, and it will work very similarly to what you would just expect. Now, one slight downside that I found is that it does not support Java right now. So what that means is, let's say you want to go play Minecraft or something, you're not going to be able to do it in the browser on Chrome OS. Uh, again, I don't really think that's a deal breaker by any means. It's just a minor thing. And I do see that if they ever decide to, they could add it without any major hassle. Uh, so uh, once you load it up, like I said, guys, you'll be able to get all of your data, especially if you're already a Chrome user. Um, it will have all of your data backed up, just like, like literally when you first get your Chromebook, you log in, it downloads all your stuff from the cloud. So, you know, your bookmarks, your... Uh, your uh, save file, I mean all the kinds of stuff that you have normally on Chrome like your passwords, all that kind of stuff and your themes that are saved automatically will come to the Chromebook. You don't have to do anything. You literally just log in and you're done which is fantastic. Uh, now I do want to show you guys there, is, there are really is not a whole lot of a UI or anything like that. Um, like, a, like a particularly uh, standard computer like say Windows whatever. I mean you have your desktop and you have programs and this and that and start button. But there's none of that here. Literally, the only thing that's outside of the browser is the settings page. And uh, when you go into the settings page, this even this is almost just like on normal Chrome. The uh, only difference is you can set a couple of things like your date and time, adjust the sensitivity of the trackpad, uh, get tweets, <laughs> um, and then all that kind of stuff. It's not really anything all that in depth. Now there is one fairly big downside to Chrome OS, and that is of course that you are stuck on the web. So for example, let's say you do Photoshop, or you're big into video editing, or for whatever reason you have an application that you absolutely can't go without, that is for example on Windows or Mac, and it's not on the web, there's nothing you can do. However, there's a surprising amount of things that you can do on the web. Uh, so what I'll open up is this, and this is the apps page. Um, of course, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Google Chrome Web Store. Um, there are a lot of various different apps. And some of them are really quite good. So let's give you guys a quick little uh, demo. Like I have, for example, TweetDeck is a fantastic Twitter client. I'm always using it. Gmail, you know, it's just Gmail, you know, of course, your, your uh, email. Um, there are also various games, which I won't get into, but there are actually some decent games, including Angry Birds now. Uh, there's Google Talk. There's applications that allow you to do 3D modeling. Uh, applications that allow you to keep your, uh, you know, like, news notes and whatnot. There's even Aviary, which is not quite as good as Photoshop certainly but it allows you to do some fairly advanced audio editing all from the internet so while I, I definitely understand there are a lot of people who go oh well you know what I need X program on it and Chrome OS won't run uh, for the vast majority of people if you're just you know this is not meant to be your number one computer to do everything on but for a secondary computer compared to something like a tablet or whatever Chrome OS is more than sufficient to get through I would say 95% of people's needs you'll be able to find something in the uh, web apps or online or so somehow you'll be able to get through so that's why I'm really excited about Chrome OS I love that it's really secure you don't have to worry about updates patches viruses all the updates are automatically done you don't ever even really notice them and it just really keeps itself very simple it's really quick so if you're interested in Chrome OS I highly recommend it it's a very very cool operating system it's a cool premise now I do again I just do want to say it's not for everyone you know it's not going to replace your two thousand dollar desktop or anything like that but for a secondary computer that you can use carry around with you to get on the internet and all that kind of stuff Chrome OS will absolutely do the job